Live from our campus studio near the base of Mission Peak, this is Ohlone Tri-City News, featuring stories about our neighbors in Fremont, Newark, and Union City. Good evening and welcome to Ohlone Tri-City News for Wednesday, May 3rd. I'm Nick Beeler, and now the news. Last Friday at 8.19 p.m., Fremont police arrived at the scene of a collision involving a vehicle and a motorcycle. The involved vehicle left the scene after the collision on the intersection of Blakeow Road and Hilo Street. Unfortunately, the motorcycle passenger passed away at the scene while the motorcyclist was transported to a local hospital with serious injuries. After witnesses provided descriptions to Fremont police, they located and arrested the suspect near Grammar Boulevard and Blakeow Road. Anyone witnessing the collisions or with information regarding this collision, please contact the Fremont Police Department at 510-790-6760. You can also submit an anonymous tip at FremontPolice.gov. Ohlone Mecha Club threw a special event yesterday to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Here's my story. Yesterday, May 2nd, Ohlone Mecha hosted an early Cinco de Mayo celebration. The event went from 12 to 2 p.m. and offered food, lots of music, and showcased various presentations. The food was generously catered by Tacos Bravo. They served delicious street-style tacos and also included a serve-your-own topping bar. There were guest speakers to open the event, a brief lesson on the meaning and celebratory practices of Cinco de Mayo, a special performance from Ballet Folklorico de James Logan High School, a presentation on Chicana history, and fun and games to close the event off. The event was very informative, and many who attended had a good time. This was all put together by the Ohlone Mecha Club. You can visit their Instagram, at Ohlone Mecha, to find out how to join or about future events they plan to host. And be sure to keep an eye out for flyer announcements on Canvas for more campus-wide events. This is Nicholas Beeler for Ohlone Tri-City News. The Washington Township Local History Museum has all the info you need to know about the Tri-City's history. Here's Kevin with the story. Located by the hills of Mission Peak, the Washington Township Local History Museum shares the history of the cities of Fremont, Union City, and Newark. It's a combined collection. There were two local historical societies, the Washington Township Historical Society and the Mission Peak Heritage Foundation. And they came together to pool their resources to uh, build this, you know, to, to collect and to hold this stuff in these museums. They needed some place to put all this. And at one time in, um, in 1909, it was known as Washington Township, and it was Union City, Newark, and the five little towns. The museum hosts various exhibits centered on history in both the local area and California at large. We have the nucleus of our collection is a, is a collection of photographs that a local doctor uh, managed to get in the 1960s and 70s. Before there were scanners, he would take pictures of some of the early family's photographs. Uh, I think one of my favorite is, is the Gold Rush, the Gold Rush, also the, the aerial of the, of, of, er, no, of Niles, because we're so, we were, when we started out, this was so agriculture. We, lot, we grew a lot of things here, and, it, and then after agriculture, it became, you know, more citified and things changed. Workers and volunteers share knowledge on the exhibits in the museum and the stories behind pieces in them. I kind of like the ostrich egg over in the display cabinet because it, it's a real cute story about boys in the 1890s were fascinated with, they, they collected things. And so they collected bird eggs. And most of the bird eggs in that exhibit are local birds that you just find, you know, out in the fields. But there's an ostrich egg in there. The story is that there was an ostrich farm in, near Fresno, and they were trying to raise ostriches commercially. So the little boy that had the ostrich collect, the egg collection here traded an egg for the ostrich egg from Fresno. He hoped he could hatch it, but of course it didn't. So then he just put it in his collection. The museum staff share their thoughts on why the museum and local history are so important. I think all history is important, that we need to know where we've come from, what made things happen the way they happened so we can know where we're going. And I think it's a good idea to have a lot of information about the people who came before us. History in the past was written by the people who um, were the most important people, and we're trying to be a little more uh, expansive in doing some of the histories of the people who didn't get their to stories told in the first place. For people to know where, how we developed, 
where we came from. Uh, children need to know where this, how this, how this city started. And it's important to know those kind of things because that gives you a basic background of how we started and where we're heading toward. We ha you know, we're a fun organization and, and we're small and we're not like a big museum, but we're a museum that, it's kind of old fashioned museum. That's what we are. For more information on the museum and how to volunteer, you can visit museumoflocalhistory.org. This has been Kevin McDonald with Ohlone Tri-City News. Ohlone New Art Campus held its open house to get new students prepared for their college life. More details after the break. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. The thing that drives me every day as a dad is him. Every day he's hungry for something. And there's this huge responsibility in making sure that he's a good person. I think the advice I would give is you don't need to know all the answers. It's okay to make mistakes. As long as it's coming from love, then it kind of starts to work itself out. On Monday, Fremont police responded to a collision involving three vehicles at the intersection of Paseo Padre and Maori Avenue. Officer, officers arrived on the scene and found one driver unresponsive inside their vehicle. Fremont police and Fremont fire personnel rendered medical aid. The driver was transported to a local hospital where he passed away. Anyone witnessing the collision or with information regarding this collision, please contact the Fremont Police Department at 510-790-6760. Calling all art lovers, Fremont just had its latest art event. Here's Morgan with the scoop. This past Saturday, the Mission San Jose Chamber of Commerce hosted an art mosaic for local small businesses to showcase their art and products. Each business was selling something unique to the local community, including paintings, jewelry, cards, and even plants. The Mango Blossom Apiary was selling the local honey and candles they make and harvest. They even let people taste while they talk about the different honey types. A few activities were out for children to interact with, including a life-size marble maze, chalk, and ink paintings. For more information on events like this, visit msjchamber.org and click events. This is Morgan Oviat for Ohlone Tri-City News. Last Saturday, Ohlone held an on-campus open house on their Newark campus to get students prepared for the upcoming summer and fall semesters. Here's Anna with the story. This Saturday, Ohlone College held their second Super Saturday event at the Newark campus. Upon arriving, students were provided with a map of the campus, one meal ticket, and other pamphlets with information regarding registration and other useful resources. There were several booths outside with information regarding various programs and opportunities that Ohlone College offers. Inside, there were more tables with information regarding campus tours, application workshops, classroom and lab demonstrations, and a raffle entering. There was also music with free food and snacks available to use with your free meal ticket. This event provided a great opportunity for students to gather information for the upcoming summer and fall semesters. And now it's time for entertainment. The Student Repertoire Theater Company presented the 9th Annual Ohlone College Playwrights Festival. The aim of the festival is to cultivate plays from professional and emerging playwrights that speak to our college students and contribute to fostering the next generation of theater artists. It introduces all aspects of theater to new students and is a space for experienced students to hone their skills and craft. The event will span from Thursday to Friday. Tickets are $12 sold at the door and parking is $4. Just released straight to streaming on Disney Plus and probably for good reason is Peter Pan and Wendy. This new live action reimagining of the animated classic came out a few days ago and reviews have now begun to roll out. However, this rendition isn't delivering as it's just not what viewers were expecting. With high hopes of a movie filled with Disney magic, this one is unfortunately leaving audiences greatly disappointed. Many say the movie is drab and colorless. There isn't much visual appeal and the pacing is too slow. 
Many viewers agree that there's just something missing from this retelling that the original story benefited from. While the performances from the actors and actresses are done well, they aren't enough to save the film. The fun seems to be missing, which is a key, uh, which is key for a movie about Neverland. Some audience members say people are just being too harsh on this flick and that it's still enjoyable if you look past what others are saying. If you want to see what side this movie falls under for you, then you can catch Peter Pan and Wendy now streaming on Disney+. And new to theaters last Friday is Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. Adapted from the best-selling book of the same name by Judy Bloom. this coming-of-age story follows a young girl named Margaret and her family as they move from everything they were used to in New York City to a new town in the suburbs of New Jersey. Having to deal with so much at once like the move itself, a new school, new friends, and the awkwardness of puberty to a young mind, Margaret begins to question everything about life and adolescence. Thankfully, she has the loving support from her mother and grandma to help her along the way as they all learn to answer questions about identity, one's place in the world, and what brings meaning to life. Reviews are now out, and critics and audiences alike are loving it. The film currently stands at a 98% on Rotten Tomatoes. Many are saying this film is a cute, wholesome, feel-good watch with great acting and a well-written story. There are even comedic moments sprinkled throughout, which makes the movie even more fun and enjoyable. Many agree this, that this heartfelt and endearing story definitely does the book justice and stays true to the source material. If you're looking for a heartwarming watch, then you can catch Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret in theaters now. And in theaters this Friday, with pre-screenings as early as tomorrow, is the long-awaited Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. This installment to the Guardians franchise is said by director James Gunn to officially wrap up the Marvel series. Reviews have already started to come out, and lots of good things have been said so far. Some say that this is the best Marvel movie since Endgame, and also finishes off our hero's storylines rather well. Many agree that this film has a bit of a darker tone than the other Guardians films, yet still utilizes the comedic aspect the characters have always brought to the table. Aside from from a darker tone, this one is also said to be way more emotional than the past movies and apparently really pulls at the heartstrings. The movie is said to be filled with intense action as always, gives us incredibly strong performances from the cast, and is a very well written story. And as per usual with the Guardians films, many agree that the soundtrack hits it out of the park. Critics say this one was just a blast and had a lot of heart and soul and is the perfect final hurrah for the team. Alongside that, where this movie exceeds is the fact that it balances all of its aspects really well and its core elements stay consistent throughout. And of course, be sure to stay for the very end as there are two post credit scenes worth the watch. To see where this final journey takes our heroes and how it sends them off, you'll have to catch Gardens of the Galaxy 3 in theaters this Friday. And that's all for entertainment. Don't click away. The Associated Students will be holding their very first spring market at Ohlone. More on this after the break. You know you don't have to wear your PT gear anymore, right? It's comfortable. So how's civilian life treating you? It's fine. When I got out, I didn't want to admit that there was anything wrong because it felt like a failure. And then I realized, like, there's nothing to be ashamed of. So I started talking to someone. Maybe you are fine. But if you're not, it's okay. Thank you. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. We all know what it's like to feel alone. But it just takes one new connection. Want to get out of here? To empower many. This is unbelievable. It doesn't take a superhero to bring forces together. We all have the power to reach out. Let's go! and help someone feel like they belong. Pretty cool, huh? We are stronger together. The Associated Students of Ohlone College will be holding their first ever spring market. There will be free food, including Mexican food, trucks, churros, popcorn, boba, and more. Students will be able to enjoy free merchandise bags and games such as bowling and soda pong, as well as the chance to enter a raffle to win free AirPods. The spring market will take place on Ohlone Way tomorrow from noon to 2 p.m. Everything will be on a first-come, first-served basis, so don't miss out on this opportunity to network, socialize, and have fun. Ohlone College hosted a health and wellness fair last week. Here's Gavin with the story. Ohlone College hosted its biannual health fair this past Thursday, April 27th. The event hosted various booths from on-campus programs as well as various activities. Some things offered at the event included free HIV testing, groceries, and games with prizes. To see more information on Ohlone Student Health Center, who hosted the event, you can visit www 
www.aloni.edu slash health center. A program at Ohlone College is designed to meet the educational needs of students hindered by social, economic, and language barriers. Here's Vincent with the story. Extended Opportunity Programs and Services, better known as EOPS, is a program that offers various resources to help aid the needs of students and carry them to the end of their educational goal. The program came to be by a lot of heavy advocacy, a lot of advocacy of a lot of good people who who recognized that at the time during the 60s there was a lot of educational injustice and they wanted educational justice and opportunity for everyone. I joined this program because I knew that it was a community where they would help, they would give me the support and help that I would need in the, my academic career. So what makes me really proud about the EOPS program that is really a grassroots movement started with the community, with the people that felt that they were being represented and wronged, and it, it became a whole movement in which we have EOPS born right out of this. Students who are eligible to enroll in the program have access to services including academic advising, early registration, and financial assistance. One of the biggest benefits is really building community. If you think about it anywhere you go, you don't feel like you really thrive in the space unless you feel like you belong in the space. We help students with whatever they need. It doesn't just have to be questions about like academics or classes. We help them with questions about their career, their major, jobs, um, financial aid, scholarships, personal questions. A lot of the benefits that students get from being part of the program, not only do they get to do fun workshops and events and field trips, but they also get priority registration and they also get to receive um, book grants and just academic and financial support through our program if they're eligible for it. Counselors in the EOPS program assist students with the development of education plans, financial aid, and course registration. I like to kind of use like what I call like narrative counseling. So just having students sh share their story with me, um, whatever it is, every student has a story to share. So I like to listen to the student first about what they have to bring to the table and what their goals are and then go from there. We help them uh, prepare for essentially their next um, step in, in life, which can be transferring to a four-year university or it could be uh, their dream job or career. This program can benefit me in the future by helping me understand how to transition into other schools and feel more comfortable in academic spaces outside of just Ohlone so that when I do transfer, I feel comfortable in a program such as EOPS. So we just help them develop those skill sets that they need to transfer, making sure that they complete their required classes, making sure that they're getting the certificates that they want, making sure that they have a plan, educational plan in place that's going to lead them to their dream job. EOPS coordinates many community building activities, workshops, and field trips for students to enjoy and build connections. Um, for example, this spring semester we did a career development series where we help students create a resume, help them look for jobs on campus and off campus, develop their career skills. My favorite events are the ones they do for like community building because you get to meet other students who are like in the same position that you are and you get to hear their stories and how you are different and how you're similar. We also do fun activities like we had a spring social where students got to really hang out with each other build community, feel like they're part of the campus. Um, and we recently also had a field trip to San Jose State University, which was really, really fun. So we just try to keep students engaged. Graduation ready students are invited to an end of the year award ceremony where they can celebrate the hardships they overcame and welcome the next stage of their life. It's really the culmination of everything that we do. When a student makes it to an award ceremony, it's visualizing your dreams finally. You finally made it to, to, to the end goal. There was one student who came back to, to Ohlone um, maybe around 2019, 2018, 2019. And she had previously came to Ohlone, but she left because there was a lot going on in her life. Um, she's a single mom, and she came back to Ohlone feeling just broken and just lost and confused. And I met with her, and we came up with a plan for her to pursue her major in communications. Um, and she's thriving now. I mean, I think she just kind of turned a new leaf, and with taking advantage of resources like EOPS, she was able to pursue her goals and transfer to San Jose State. And she's graduating this semester from San Jose State and getting her bachelor's degree. For students who need advising and guidance to their journey at Ohlone, the EOPS program provides an engaging and collaborative community and experience. 
it's a program that changed my own life. It transformed my own life. And this is the, the part that really strikes a chord with me because I was a product of this very pro program. It's a great program. You guys should be a part of it. We have so many benefits. And it is important that spaces like this on campus are utilized. Everyone that works in this department, I know that they tru truly, truly care about every single student. And they really want to always make sure that they do whatever is in students' interest. To apply and learn more about the EOPS program, visit oloni.edu slash EOPS or visit their office at the Fremont campus on the second floor of Building 7. This is Vincent Torres for Ohlone Tri-City News. And now we're going to switch it over to weather. Time to shine, Anna. Thank you, Nick. We're back to cooler temperatures this week. Today, San Jose and Fremont reached a high of 59, while the lowest today was in Santa Cruz at 53 degrees. Let's take a look at tonight's low temperatures. Tonight we will see low 50s and high 40s throughout the Bay Area with Morgan Hill at the lowest temperature with 46. The highest temperature tonight will be in San Francisco at 53. Let's take a look at tomorrow. Tomorrow the high will be 63 in San Jose, Fremont and Morgan Hill while the lowest will be in Santa Cruz at 54 degrees. Let's take a look at this week's forecast. It's going to be a cold week with cloudy skies and low temperatures until Monday. That's it for this week's weather. Back to you, Nick. Thank you, Anna. Are you a broke college student who's desperate in desperate need of money? Because I know I am. The city of Fremont is announcing their summer scholarships. More on this after the break. When I was 10, my mom got deported. We had a difficult time, and I feel that's why I didn't get to finish school. My husband is really supportive in a way that he pushed me to go back to school. She wants to have a career so her kids can look up to her. They both keep me motivated to go to school and they see that if I do it, like they can do it too, you know? I feel that everything's possible. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. The city of Fremont is excited to announce the Nile Spring Fever Car Show. This is an entertaining day for the entire family along with car lovers who have an opportunity to show off their shiny new toys. The show will take place on Niles Boulevard next Sunday, May 7th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Parts of the following roads will be closed. Niles Boulevard, H Street, I Street, and Iron Horse Lane. These will be closed from 5 a.m. and reopened by 5 p.m. On July 1st, the local minimum wage for eligible employers will, will increase to $16.80 an hour. To prevent inflation from eroding its value, the minimum, minimum wage will be adjusted by the local consumer price index annually. And the City of Fremont Recreation Services Division is announcing summer scholarships. Applicants must be Fremont students and submit at least one of the following documents. A PG&E bill with a care or fare discount, general assistance, assistance notice of action, or CalWORKs notice of action. Apply at bit.ly slash Fremont Rec Scholarship. Last week, the Ohlone Student Government had a successful turnout with their annual STEM Summit. Here's Vivian with the story. Last Friday, Ohlone College hosted the annual STEM Summit. It brought together students, teachers, and professionals working in the STEM industry from all over the area. The summit was an event that spanned the entire day, featuring a Q&A session, a catered lunch, and a chance for students to explore Ohlone's STEM clubs. The event also hosted a giveaway to win a free iPad to anyone who attended. For more information on future events, visit www.ohlone.edu slash ASOC. And last Thursday around 8.40 p.m., there was a report of a horse who fell 40 yards down an embankment and ended up into a creek in Union City. Upon arrival, Alameda County Fire Unified Command was set up for extended operations with East Bay Regional Parks Police Department and the Alameda County Sheriff's Office was requested for drone operations. Due to access limitations on scene, crews had to find creative ways to transfer equipment to set up for rescue operations. The rider of the horse had minor injuries, however, the horse succumbed to its injuries. How unfortunate. 
Well, that's all for tonight's Ohlone Tri-City News. Please join us next Wednesday starting at 8.30 p.m. live on Comcast Channel 28 and our IBM video channel. To see recordings of stories and past shows, visit ohlone.tv.net. And have a great rest of your day.